Hi everyone, I am Devarati Chaturji. I have constructed a project along with a dashboard to analyze layoffs from 2020 to 2020. For this project, I used Power BI, which is a business intelligence tool used in data analysis and data visualization. As we know, the COVID-19 pandemic has a profound impact on global economy, leading job losses and economic uncertainty around the world. My project aims to shed the light on the layoff from various companies and industry over past three years. Through this dashboard, I will provide some valuable insight into important issue. My project consists of this content. I will discuss about the data set, the objective of this project, data analysis, data and visualization and creating dashboard and finding some key insights. I use the data set which I have collected from Kaggle.com. There is a link of this data set. So in this data set, the layoff data captured from pre-pandemic to February 2020. Here are a few objectives I have taken to complete my project. First, I have connected my data source to Power BI query and transformed the data using Power Query. On this transform data, I used some basic question to visualize the data using proper charts and visuals. After all these visuals charts, I format the dashboard and find some valuable insight from the data set. Before proceeding further, I would like to show the data set I used. This is the data set I have used for my project. Here there is a nine column. In the first column, the data is about the company, which lay of the employees, the location of the company, the industry that company belongs to, the total layoff from the company, percentage of employee that laid off, date of the layoff, stage of the funding, country of this company and fund raised by the company. This is my original dashboard I have created. In this dashboard, I have used all these charts and visuals from this visualization section. And in this data section, I have used uh, some measures and calculated column created by DAX function. So the total layoff happened around 3,67,000. This is the company-wise total layoff, percentage of layoff and total fund raised by the company. Amazon, Google, Meta, and Salesforce, Microsoft believes among the topmost company which has most layoff. And uh, here you can see Uber is the uh, among the highest uh, fund raised company, but uh, which also laid off seventy-five percent of their employee. This is the uh, industry-wise total layoff. Consumer, retail and transportation are the most affected industry. This is the location-wise layoff where you can see the 65.3% of companies are USA-based, uh, leading with the uh, is West Europe. Whereas 6.3% uh, companies are from India. This is the trend of uh, layout. Where you can see uh, the uh, big point happened in the COVID-19 era, where uh, the most layoffs happened from uh, November 2022 to January 2023, where the most layoff happened in January 2023, which is. 84,000. Now, this is the top six months from over the past three years, which I have uh, created using filter function. Here you can see April, May, which are the COVID timing, and uh, this is the November 2022, January 2023. This is the highest uh, month where 
most employees are laid off this is the uh, funding uh, stage of this company where most in companies laid off their employees in post ipo funding stage this is the uh, top global company that uh, laid off their employees which includes amazon uh, 18000 google 12000 meta 11000 and rest of them are salesforce microsoft and see here i have used slicers to make the dashboard more dynamic this is the country wise slicer where i can choose any other country here if we choose india here we can see that uh, byju swiggy ola byju juniors are the top most company well education is the most affected industry from india and in india the layoff trends goes up in pandemic time and uh, most uh, companies are from south side of india if we see that uh, in pandemic in india that may 2020 has the highest number of laid off and in uh, May 2020, like this is the pandemic uh, month where Swiggy and the Pesa Bazaar are the top companies. In this video, I have given an overview of the dashboard. In next videos, I will discuss about how we can create all these features and styles. Stay tuned for that. Thank you.